All right, this is Demonocalypse with a game I picked up for free. I had it, bought it originally, but now it's available for free through Mech Tech. There's a link in the description. All right, now Mech Warrior, giant mech combat. You'll see it soon enough. Basically, Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries. It goes towards that, but you get to choose mech outfits that give you different starting equipment, different leveling equipment, and so on and so forth. The Wolf's Dragoons, you get clan tech, which is pretty much one of the most, some of the most advanced weaponry in the universe. Um, Northwind Highlanders, you get more, you get more money, you get good, good starting equipment. Grey Death Legion, you have access to Lost Tech, which is basically, well, technology has been regressing throughout the Mech Warrior period. The Battle tech, period. Um, so lost tech is any very old technology. The Kellhounds um, are kind of a mix between the Wolf's Dragoons and the Northwind Highlanders. I'm just going to pick Nor um, the Grey Death Legion here. Yeah, my fingers aren't feeling right now. It's like, and you get to pick your name as a pilot and company name. Company name is the name. Yeah, your company name. <laughs> the Great Death Legion Company. And difficulty level: recruit regular veteran elite. I'm gonna screw myself over with this. All right. Okay. Audio got very loud. Just gotta fix that. You can have multiple people um, on different rosters, um, but video 1920 by 1080, full support of that. I just have to uh, fix that, increase that a little bit. Uh, the. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um. Our group run two three. Unfortunately, this gun, this game does not support my thumb buttons. I wish it did. All right, and like one of the things if you just want to test stuff out is you can get <laughs> there's cheats built into the game. Heat, invincibility, unlimited ammo, splash damage. As you can see, heat is on. If I turned it off, I'd be able to shoot unlimitedly without having to worry about heat buildup. Invincibility, I don't have to worry about anything. Limited ammunition, I don't have to worry about running out of ammo. Splash damage, I leave that on because I use explosive weapons a lot. Um, you got multiplayer in the game as well. Player insignias, there's quite a few. You can also import uh, custom decals. That one works, I guess. And then you can get um, default skins for all your mechs. All right, there are some okay voice acting in this. I'll give it that. Like I can go in multiplayer instant action. Um, right now the, the Mech Pack 3 from Mech Tech is mainly based in the multiplayer, but they did integrate it into the single player campaign as well, fairly well. Welcome to the command center, Commander. The first step in securing a contract is the star system overview. From there, you can view contracts available in each system. Once you travel to a star system, you can click on the Orbital View button to see more details about the contracts available. The free market allows you to buy or sell mechs and armaments and hire new lance mates. The Mech Lab allows you to modify the loadouts of your mechs. Fairly informative. I don't understand why my standard color is pink, however. The flea is a little, a fast little bugger that do, that can can mount a few fairly impressive weapons on it if you want to overheat the thing drastically. Unfortunately, I hate the flea. The hell spawn is a medium mech, very good. It's only around the 45 tons though. Osiris, okay. Owens, okay. Raven, okay. Free market. Let's see what they got here. Okay. I, I, just to answer something before anyone um, may have voiced it already, I'm not sure. 
I have played this before. I have replayed this game to death because it just works that well for me. Pick up a Chimera. Um, Chimera is a medium mech. It, uh, the Osiris has more firepower, I know that. Large laser. Pick up two of these. And one thing that I am particularly snarky about in this game is just symmetry. I must have two of every, everything. Uh, I need a bigger... Do I want to pick up that as well? Uh... Once in a while the sound doesn't play. But the one thing is, this, this game, it's old. Yes, it's old. <laughs> But it's, it still looks okay, despite that. I mean, everything's kind of blocky, but they're mechs. Um, it looks really bad when you're actually looking at the terrain, however. Now, one thing, like, this uh, frame right here can, ma can hold a maximum of 40 tons. Right now, I'm at 36 tons. You can see that right up here. It's kind of faded out for one reason or another. All right. Drop two large lasers on it. And you'll see my heat efficiency here goes down. Put some clan tech on me. Put that on there. And then... A ton for that. And then you got ammo counters. Like I got 120 shots with this AC5, which is an auto cannon. It only fires one bullet. There's also the LBX AC-10, which fires basically a shotgun blast. Unfortunately, nothing here is... N none of the um, damage or the um, hit models are correctly modeled. Most things are hit scan. Um, missiles aren't, of course. They do take travel time. Usually, I don't need anything like that, but... Um... Maybe if I... Yeah, I'm going to put a large X-Pulse laser on there, which is basically... A blue pulse laser. Okay, yes. Save that. Everything's in okay positions, I guess. Switch those around. It's a lot easier to than to not overheat my mech. Jump jets. I do not like equipping jump jets on my mech simply because they it, it, it does increase... Um, fighting ability a little bit, but I've never really liked using it in as, them as, in as much. Okay, now I've equipped, equipped this 45 ton Hellspawn with two large lasers, one medium pulse laser, and I'm thinking about switching out that um, short range missile system with maybe an MRM, medium range missile system. Uh, the Shriek, the, the Shriek model um, clan tech, fear of fibrosis, armor, um, all the armor in the game is not hard ar armor. I do not like that. However, it still works fairly well. It's ablative, which means you get shot a lot, it's going to fall off. Okay, I got a 30 ton Osiris here. Just going to drop these. Large laser, please! Completely overheat my mech in one shot, but oh well. Oh, I'm short a few tons. Put this... Put a gun up there, and now I'm overweight. I can't lower its um, weight anymore. Now this is the hard part that comes when you don't have enough clan tech. Clan tech does more damage and is usually lighter than normal inner sphere tech. So it's kind of a problem for me. Put that one there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to overheat this thing immensely once I put enough tech on here. If I put a small... Okay. Okay, I, that, yeah, that thing, that, this thing's definitely going to overheat, I know that. Um, put the medium X-Pulse lasers on a different firing frequency than the, la than the light. Uh, this guy should be fast enough. I don't like it when it, it put, sets it up so you'll always have like 25 extra because you can't put in half ton increments, everything is one ton in, or um, 
point zero five, and everything's a point one at most. There's nothing really I can do right here. Here for process. If I strip some armor off the main body and legs, I can get up to an extra ton. But there's nothing really I can do with it, unfortunately. Do that and yeah, that'll do it. Medium pulse laser. Give it a little bit more extra firepower. Um, put that on a different frequency so that my per my pilot doesn't shoot them both off at the same time. Now I can either go the first two contracts I he have here is Eaton and Halloran Five. Halloran is a coastal defense light, a a mission threat light, payment 1,750,000 C bills, uh, employers, Transpax Corporation. Now, since I've played this game before, I know what's going to happen. If I complete the mission on Eaton here, I will have to return later in order to complete them as well. So might as well just go to Halloran 5. Jump. This jump will take one week and cost you 125,000 C bills. And get used to that. You'll be seeing it a lot. Okay, Standard declares war on New Sirtis, 8th of January, 3066. In a movie that follows years of fence straddling by Duke George Michael Hasek, Field Marshal of the Capellan March, Archon Princess Katrina Steiner has deployed a large task force against the planet of New Sirtis to ensure the loyalty of Duke Hasek and his subjects, wasting no time and mincing no words, the Duke has now firmly stated his anti-Archon position even, and even now his forces are engaged in the task force in open conflict. Steiner seems to be attempting to frighten other field marshals as much as to bring Hasek back in line. Now, that only took one week. You'll pretty much be getting um, new news updates in this corner every week every time you set out because each mission will take a week and usually when you have a damaged mech it will take a week or more to repair them as long as i've seen i've had i completely destroyed a mech one time and it took four weeks it took a month of four weeks our to main repair. opposition in this engagement will come from halloran 5 militia naval units a large task force of naval vessels lies several miles off the coastline consisting of two destroyer groups and the aerospace carrier indignation the Navy is not expecting any resistance, so a good bloody nose should send them packing. All right, now, basic system screen, mission view screen here. Basic map, there is a hard edge on this. If you go outside, you will lose the mission. Anyways, Helen 4 offshore, mission rewards, 1,750,000 sea bills, tackle drop information, drop weight, 150 tons, Drop fee is 225,000 C bills. Navigation points, Delta, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma there. Drop, I will be dropped in this position. They show a leopard drop, fairly certain it's a leopard drop ship in this position here. That's where you'll be dropped. And everything, I've set up everything in my mech lab earlier, so here we go. Yes, and I know some of the so facilities are straight ahead to the south. A total of four large offshore platforms are at nav points Alpha and Beta. The residential and depot buildings are centered around nav points Gamma and Delta. Spectre 1, this is Deneb Control. Looks like you got here just in time. We show multiple inbound vectors in the water running coded signals on the... Alpha Dock confirms militia watercraft escorting barge. Looks like they came to do a little shopping. I'm sure they won't mind if we check their credentials. Enemy Moving to engage. Line them up! Sorry about that. I think I hang. One of my one of my key bindings isn't working. Where is it? Not change firing group. Um, target nearest enemy. Target nearest enemy. That's E. Where is it? Toggle zoom window. I put. I, I bound it to Q. I thought I'd put it on shift. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, shift is not as one shift two. Like and I'll knock them down. Can it? Take these guys Enemy out and minimize damage to the docks. Destroyed. Roger. This is the NEP control. Militia units have opened fire on the platforms. Take them out quick. Roger. We're on it. Target Spectre destroyed. out. Destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target
Alpha looks clear of hostiles. Status report? A second set of signals coming in from the east. Wait one. Data confirms another barge and some hovercraft. Barge is withdrawing. Condors and harasses are coming in fast and hard. Make Dang. That is so dumb. I apologize and I can't adjust a well in game. Making best speed to beta. Nav point alpha reached. You'll be doing some night missions as well. Some missions can be selected to go at night, but for some reason it just doesn't make sense to me. That's the only sound I find really annoying in this game. The um, sound. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy Incoming detected. hovercraft. Engaging hovercraft. They're moving on to the base. Nav point beta reached. That's a Roger. Roger. Roger that. Roger. Target destroyed. Watch out for the fuel tank, Spectre One. That whole area is a powder keg waiting for a spark. Wait for a clear shot. Spectre One, be advised. SATCOM shows the destroyer Reynolds moving in from the task force. The carrier is launching nightshades in support. ETA, one minute to your location. Hovercraft neutralized. This is the NEP control. Turret grid is at 80% efficiency. We can't handle the destroyer unsupported. Move your lance to intercept, Commander. Okay, Spectre Lance. Now we earn that check. Great job. Enemy aircraft heading our way. Target destroyed. Enemy detected. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Aircraft are surprisingly weak in this game. The helicopters are a lot more durable. Enemy detected. Get in close to the destroyer and their turrets will have a hard time tracking us. Ah, dang it, the turret control center's been off. That destroyed. That did it. Great work, Spectre One. Looks like you were worth the money. Don't you forget it. Excellent work, Commander. I'll upload our mission report to Merknet and have new contract offers ready by the time you're out of refit. Affirmative control. Spectre One out. The naval militia will give up with just a bloody nose. Though nothing is on Merknet right now, I wouldn't be surprised to see us on defensive duty with them again. And I'm trying to figure out when it stopped recording. Shit. I hope the mission was recorded. That would that would have been a total loss. I mean I can load and go back, but okay. anyways, chassis. Commando uh, not that good. Solitaire, okay. Koto Locust. Yeah, I don't need any of this. I need a medium mech. Another chimera is available. I'll be thinking about something to sell. Next mission, I'll be able to pick up some good mediums, I guess. Anyways, um, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, really. Um, I'll, if I do decide to go through with this, I will probably do everything mission by mission basis. There's about 30, 40 missions in this game, unique missions. There's a few missions like uh, the 
Solaris 5 uh, Arena. Very fun. But you basically do the same thing over and over and over again. So, But then again, that's basically all the missions. Same thing over and over and over again. Just search and destroy. The mechs feel fairly well. It's my favorite mech game that I've ever played. I mean, they tried to do Battletech for the Xbox, Xbox 360 with the Mech Assault series. That, that was okay. And then I played some Front Mission Evolved. That was okay, but there just didn't seem to be enough weight to the mechs. And there wasn't enough customization. You ended up basically just same body and changing arms and legs, kind of. But anyways, this has been Demonocalypse. Thank you for watching.